Thank you, Miss Kenny, for the time. We all thank God for this beautiful day that He has given unto us. Happy that we are in sound health and we could have to participate today. It's a good day for all of us. My respect to your director, who is also the chairman of NIDC, the principal of this college, Dr. Hiwasa El King, Mr. Lezo Fuseri, who is the CEO and founder of Edu Center, the principal of this college, the vice principal, Dr. Amar Rajandi, the faculty members, my dear students. It is a good day for all of us and then we need to move forward with this kind of opportunity. See, I must say that you are in good position because you also happen to be a student of Tetsu College, which is a premier institution. My son also studied here, and I take this college, this institution, as one of the best in the state. So take advantage of whatever facility that is available here in this college. EDCs, we just talked about it. Entrepreneurship Development Center. Was set up in schools and colleges to foster a startup culture and innovation among the youth in Nagaland. The Entrepreneurship Development Centers in colleges are run by the Edu Center School of Business, where Mr. Lezo is the founder as well as the CEO and supported by the Southern Nagaland, government of Nagaland. In schools, it has been assisted out by UNED Incubation Center. We have five incubation centers, out of which we have selected two very prominent incubators, which is the UNET and the ESP. And here we are with ESP and they will educate you in such a proper way that your future will be framed. And whatever mentorship and whatever assistance in your journey will be given to you. The EDCs were approved for government colleges and first established at Sao Chang Government College, Daizang, and Parent Government College, supported by IDEN, as an initiative under the Startup Nagaland Policy. This initiative is led by the Department of Industries and Commerce. The EDCs for colleges were launched during the Nagaland CSR Conclave last two years back, 2022, and the primary objectives are, we have three. One is encouraging students to consider entrepreneurship as a viable care option. Two is to provide a comprehensive understanding of business, enabling students to transform their ideas into action while managing risk and the nuances of entrepreneurship development. The third is enhancing students' entrepreneurial and managerial capabilities. Here is where the point is, one very important journey that we are going to make today. See, we are almost, each and every one of us, our first generation entrepreneurs. We are nothing to be afraid of. We should move forward. That is the key. In your future journey as an entrepreneur, 
if sometimes you fail, it should not matter. You shouldn't have regret for that. Just move forward. And I think everything will be okay. One very important thing is that the state of Nagaland as a whole. We are having enough educated people. We are one of them. We have a long journey to make. Our literacy rate has touched 80%. It's a competitive world. And you should not make any hasty decisions. Our people, as I've said, almost all of us are new into this kind of activities, which means we need lots of support, mentorship, guidance. And unless we are patient and we are clinically very clear about what we are going to do, our roads may be disturbed. So my point is that how do we put and how do we use the activities that we make a journey with goals? Startup is one such thing that to promote, to educate, to give mentorship to our young entrepreneurs. We have a policy for that. And then, see, unless we give full determination into what we are going to do, we don't want to see that uh, we become a failure. So take your time. That is what I want to say. You know, many years back, I've shared that on some occasions also. When the literacy rate of Kerala was so high those days in the 50s and 60s, they ventured out from their state. There were big unemployment problems. And they came to our state, Nagaland. We had thousand teachers those days. And I'm also one of the product. You go to the private schools, you go to the government schools, all are from there, most of them. Some few from West Bengal, some few from our neighboring state, Assam. They ventured out and then who got the benefit? It is us who got the benefit. Last teacher's day, I was just interacting with my science teacher. I met him personally. See, we should not be forgetting our past. This is the institution, the Tetsu College, which is bringing you up. I was just discussing with our chairman, ADC, and director of Tetsu College that, see, whenever he moves out, he finds his students working here in the year. And that was so beautiful to look at, that we have met something. And that is why we have to ponder, you have to become something, somebody, so that you feed him properly and no turning back into what you are venturing out. We benefited because the southern state got so, so unemployed, chopped with literacy, high rate, they ventured out. Now, I came to know that this college has got more than 2,000 students. After your graduations, where do we fit in? When they were down there, it was like that, we benefited. When you come up, who are we going to get the benefit to? We cannot go to other places to benefit them. But what I can tell you today is that we have to take the benefit by ourselves. Because it's a very challenging world. We have to promote each other. We have to start from the scratch so that it grows. It should be like a seed that we plant. 
not a, like not like a tree that you uproot and then you plant it. Sowing seed is very important than just harvesting. You sow the seeds and then you harvest. So you become the seed. And I think it will help us a lot. We can change the ecosystem of the state. And why not even the Northeast? That is where I believe our youngster can go with this kind of opportunities that has been given to you. And given the positive response from the EDs, EDCs in the government colleges, the Department of Industries and Commerce has selected Edu Center School of Business to establish Entrepreneurship Development Center, EDCs, in educational institutes across Nagaland. Building on the success in government colleges, Startup Nagaland has decided to expand the initiative to private colleges as well. Tetsa College will be the first private college <coughs> institute to host an EDC with other colleges coming up in the private, private colleges. So I would like to give, shall we give all a big applause to Tetsa College? Yes, this is the first private college with this kind of initiative being taken up by and also to Lezo and Group. Nah? They are taking the initiative. Let's also give them applause. <laughs> this is what we need to do and let it go. Before I conclude, I just want to have a word with my students here. Yes, you, everyone has got dreams, but my first word that I want to tell you is that you just be you. You just be you. That is where everything starts. Once you are you, once you understand you, I think the entrepreneurial journey will be okay. Because you know you first, then only you know others. Make use of the opportunities that is given to you and take it seriously. Know your time, that is very important. Should be sincere about the time. It's not only being punctual, huh? it's being about sincere to the time. I think everything will be okay. Sometimes we go wrong. Where? We pray to God at night time, give me good morning tomorrow. We all pray like that. We thank for the day given to us and we wish to see the next early morning and we don't get up. I think I'm right. Some of the students may be like that somehow. You could never get up in time and then see. But you have prayed for a new day. Welcome the new day in good spirit. That will be another boosting into your journey. And lastly, see if you have got, everyone has got phone, most of you, maybe, yes, we have got phone. That is the danger that we have today. The phone that you have is 50% good and 50% not good. Huh? If you utilize the 50% good, the good one, then you know, you're in the right track. Your journey will be satisfying. You will have no regrets. But if you use the other side of the phone, where you cannot see nothing, you see, there is a screen on the front side. No? You see many things. It's like you're looking into the other side, huh? of like nothing. So the phone has got goods and bad side. Huh? So choose the good one. Don't mingle with many unnecessary things. When you're making a good journey ahead of you, look into that. Friendships should also be built through that line. So, once again, I'm very happy that uh, I could be able to participate here. It is a privilege being here in Tetsa College. I'm happy to the management and all the 
faculty members, the student, mm. and Edu Center for the privilege given to me. Let's take a good journey and hope that all our interviews be successful. Thank you very much.